And this is, I, I never took pictures of my clients. Like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. But this is Jack the Birdman. He's a career ornithologist and dwarf conifer enthusiast. Talked about trees a lot. And he made me this duck out of cork. I was really excited about that. Um, lessons learned. I love the work. I didn't, when I was done with school, you know, I devoted a lot of energy to school. But when I was done, I left. And I went and cut wood. Like, I, I found this balance that I really enjoyed. Everybody else was in school. I was having a great time outside. Here's my chainsaws. Um, what changed? When I got into it, wood market was booming. It was during COVID. Corvo was $300. That was a killing. Uh, and it sort of ended. Like, towards the end of it, it was the winter. I hate, I hate it in the winter. Soggy. I and mean, I'm just like underwater. I mean, you gotta wear like waterproof pants. I mean, oh my gosh. And so I started picking up farming jobs because I learned how to fix things when I did logging. And I got approached by this guy. This is the only picture I have of him. Nash Huber, local legend. Huh. Um, and then I was like full on farming. And he hired, he's 83 years old, and I was his right hand man. He hired me as like a mechanic. Turns out I was his only paid employee for the entire farm. So I ended up doing everything. Um, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fantastic, right? And also, our stuff was ancient. I mean, this was from the 50s, this tractor. We actually farmed with this. Um, that's right, hey. I also, so here they are. This is Nash, two bosses. First time I ever had a boss. This guy, very absent boss. He just wouldn't show up sometimes. <laughs> Didn't have a clock, the guy. He, period. Hands down. So that was really frustrating, actually. Like, I love the guy's a friend. Never again am I doing a good job with my boss is a flake. Like, I just can't handle that. <laughs> it's not that I'm his only employee. Like, and this fire was on me. It's been totally failed because of that. But, like, we didn't throw anything. Uh, other boss, much more successful. We sold a lot of hay. Here I am raking. Here he is bailing. Here, Emily. Uh, lesson learned. Totally different culture. I mean, this is the duality of swim here. Two things going on at once. I was logging before, now I'm farming. I never got in the retirement community sector, but that was really fascinating to me. And it actually all came around. Like, the people on the farm, they knew Craig, which was interesting to me. Um, and what changed? End of the summer, that's now. Like, time ended, and I was exhausted from just taking over this farm for this guy. And so, Gonzaga time. Swim to the Gonzaga, water leaf swim. I uh, can't get anywhere. I'm just tired of it. Target Explorer. Been there a long time. Here's a lavender. Um, also, my family really, they supported me in going to college. Like, they wanted to, they all went to college. They all loved it. They wanted me to do that, too. And I just can't be selling fiber the rest of my life. Like, that's not, I loved it. I'll do it again, but it's not life. Um, more importantly, I want to be here. Uh, my major is electrical engineering. Um, this is a, a natural progression for me. I, I hope I like it. You know, I don't know this for sure, but I mean, it's just my thing. Um, I, at first I was into Christmas lights. This is not a very, doesn't explain to you the amount of Christmas lights I put up. Like, it was unbelievable. I also have a light bulb collection, side hobby. And for junior English, like, final project, I built the makings of an electric organ here. And it's actually on my YouTube channel, if you want to see that. Cool. Uh, that's it. Interesting photos in there. No, I, I, no it is not. That was my pet science class, but we do have a cat. I really like cats. Uh, I did not bring it with me for obvious reasons, but. Jacob? Which job do you enjoy more, your farming job or your, or your logging job? They came at different times. Like, I, I was a different person as a, a, a cutter than as a farmer. And they were both, they built on each other. Um, I missed the freedom of being an entrepreneur, even though my boss was totally absent. I miss being able to just do whatever I felt like. And I'm totally going to go back to that. Like, to just be able to go, you know, I'd be in the middle of the night, I'd go get a load of fire. Like, it was awesome. I loved it. Um, but then farming, I mean, I'm driving these tractors, getting paid a bunch of money, just having fun out in the fields. Like, that was unbeatable, so. Nice. All right. Okay.